Hi, I'm Laura Winter and I was delighted to host the Aveco Daily Mission Awards in association with Watt Van last year. This year, we're catching up with our award winners to see how the Aveco Daily helps them work smart. Well, here I am outside of one of Kent County Council's state-of-the-art mobile libraries. Kent County Council were one of Aveco Daily's Mission Award winners last year in the Passenger Transport and Lifestyle category. I'm here to find out a bit more. I'm joined by Alan Thomas, Service Manager for Commercial and Customer Insight with Kent County Council. Alan, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, great to see you here. Now tell us more about these amazing mobile libraries and the services they provide. Well, we now have a fleet of five modern mobile libraries and they visit lots of stops across the county. Um, our customers can go online and do a postcode search so they can find their nearest stop. Uh, so it's a really important service for the local community. And how did you feel to win the Aveco Daily Award? Yeah, we were over the moon. It was fantastic because, you know, obviously a huge amount of planning um, and a huge amount of work had gone into the vehicles just showed that all that hard work um, has paid off. And what makes you certain that the Aveco Daily is the van for this job? Um, well, essentially, um, there were lots of reasons we chose the vehicle. Uh, firstly, it was um, a lighter chassis than the previous vehicles we were using. Uh, therefore, they provided um, a more sort of fuel efficient, uh, low emission vehicle for us. Um, secondly, they've got um, an automatic gearbox, which essentially will uh, analyse the road conditions, analyse the load of the vehicle, and from there it provides a smoother drive and a more fuel efficient drive as well. And how has the standard of Echo Daily been modified to create these five mobile libraries? Well, we worked really closely with the Aveco dealer um, and with Euromotive bodybuilders. We made sure our 800 kilograms of books could be housed on purpose-built shelving. Uh, we included a wheelchair lift, uh, a powered door, fans and air conditioning. Uh, we also included a librarian's workstation, roof-mounted solar panels to run the internal features of the library. Um, and we also included a smart pack to give us uh, useful data. This helps us improve driving styles, journey profiling and fuel consumption. Joe, you're one of the mobile library's drivers. Tell us, what does a typical working day look like for you? It's a fantastic day. I start with the loading of stock and then I set up my workstation and then I do my vehicle check, of course, and then I'm off driving around the Kent countryside for the day where I get to give a library service to the local people. And I'm guessing the vehicle you're driving makes a huge difference to your day-to-day -day comfort and well-being. Most definitely. You spend your whole day in this vehicle, so the ergonomics are so important to me. I'm under five foot five, so being able to have the gear stick and everything within my reach is just so important. And it's got a nice comfortable seat and everything is on the steering wheel under your fingertips. You don't even have to look down, it's all there. And how does the Aveco Daily help you in day-to-day -day missions as well? In so many ways. You've got great visibility from the cab, really good mirrors. We've also got the city steering. And as you can imagine, I have to turn around in some remote places and it makes it an absolute doddle. But most of all, the eight-speed Hymatic gearbox is fantastic. There's no lag. It's really smooth. I'm based on the North Downs, so there's a lot of hills here. There's also a lot of overtaking, so putting it into the power mode really helps me get past those cyclists. And which features do you get the most out of in the Aveco Daily? There's so many features which other vehicles don't have. Air vents that face me, not usual in a vehicle of this size. A cup holder in front of an air vent. I can keep my drinks cold in the summer We've got solar panels on the roof. Brilliant, I don't have to plug this vehicle in, which saves me a few minutes in the evening, which is really good. And to have the air con for customers is amazing, and heating in the winter if needed. The customers also have the opportunity to log on to the internal Wi-Fi. They can come on board with their own devices, log on to Kent County Council's page, and I can show them how to use it if they've got difficulty in accessing the library services. My favourite feature has to be the aesthetics of the front of this vehicle. We've got four LED lights, which as you can imagine in the dark villages is very handy in the winter. 
Thank you so much, Joe. We're now going to speak to one of the people who uses these mobile libraries on a regular basis. Hello, Helen. How long have you been coming to this library? This particular one, I have been coming since I retired, which was 23 years ago. Wow, what does this service mean to you? Because it must have been a real lifeline as well during the pandemic. And jo was wonderful. She came, we handed the books out to us, so we, we, we weren't able to come on the vehicle. But yes, it was, it was a tremendous help during, during, during lockdown. Well, that's it from us at Kent County Council and their brilliant mobile libraries. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to welcoming you to the next instalment of our Daily Mission Award winners series. I wonder where Aveco are going to have me helping out next. For now though, I'm going to find a quiet corner and get stuck into these.